all, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And by now you probably know that the global communists were out in force yesterday. Now, these are communists, plain and simple. You have to understand what's going on here. They want to take over the government. They want to institute a dictatorship. That's the way it is. Now, uh... Everywhere these people get in power, they massacre their own citizens. Germany, Soviet Union, Cambodia, China, Vietnam, you name it. Everywhere they get in power, they massacre their own citizens. Let's not forget Cuba and uh, North Korea. If you want to see how they want us to live, look at North Korea. Those people are living in an unbelievable nightmare. In Washington, D.C. alone, the last man, 800,000 people packed out Pennsylvania Avenue for the march. They watched speeches from Parkland shooting survivors and heard performances from celebrities and other 800 events in cities around the U.S. and world in coordinated protests against guns. I was out and about yesterday, and I didn't see anything. You'd never know there was anything going on. And I was out and about yesterday. It's a long story why, but i uh, not going to get into that, so let's read off a list of the communists that were there. George Clooney, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, Sp Steven Spielberg, Spielberg, Glenn Close, and Cher were all in D.C. Every one of them a communist. The event was organized by survivors of Stoneman Douglas High School shooting on February 14th. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. That is a lie. It was organized by, you know who, George Soros and his bunch. Students David Hogg and... Reet, 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 reet. <coughs> and Emma Gonzalez were among the speakers on Saturday urging youngsters to vote. Martin Luther King Jr.'s granddaughter, granddaughter Yolanda Nine also spoke, like she sh has some kind of a credibility, as did other young victims of gun violence. Yeah, it says President Trump was uh, silent. Everywhere these people get in power, they massacre their own citizens. I mean, so-called Chairman Mao Zedong murdered 50 million of his people. Stalin, Faro did uh, Adolf Hitler, but since we were temporarily allied with Stalin, uh, we can't airbrush that out, so to speak. Now, I don't know what it's doing down there at the bottom of the page. These computers have minds of their own. And you see the crowd, it looks like a big crowd, all right. I'm not denying that. But you have to understand, all these people are standing up for the massacre of their own citizens by their own government. So they get their way. All you got to do is look at North Korea to see how they want you to live. I mean, if you're a participant, that's how you want people to live. It's automatic, because if uh, the people you want get in power and manage to take away our guns, that's how you're going to live. So you want it whether you realize it or not. I'm sorry. We have to do something about the morality in this country. That's where your problem is. We have a country that's gone completely immoral. In fact, I think it was Franklin Grand... Billy's uh, son, I'd have to look it up, maybe it was Billy Graham's wife, I can't remember who, at any rate, they said that if 
God doesn't judge the United States pretty soon, you'll have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. It's all religion, but it does uh, make a point. And here we have some smiling students. This is Emma Gonzalez. And this is David Hogg. <laughs> David Hogg. And image satellite. Satellite image provided by Digital Globe showed the mass crowded march for our lives rally in Washington, D.C. on Saturday. Digital Globe called national, nationwide demonstrations for gun control collectively one of the biggest youth protests since the Vietnam War. It's not a youth protest. That is bullshit. For crying out loud, the Hollywood, Hollywood communists were all there. Well, not all of them, but... You know, George Clooney, Emil Clooney, was apparently related, I don't, have no idea. And Sharon, and so on. The communist Miley Cyrus. These people are standing up for the massacre of their own citizens by their government. Because if you don't... It happens every single time these people get in power. Everything, single time, without fail. They roll in tanks, or... You know, they gas people, or whatever. Every single time. So, this is trouble, folks, with capital T. I've said it before, and I'm not taking it back. Buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns. Did I mention buy guns? Oh, and don't forget the ammunition. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. God help us.